So continuing our, continuing our exploration of Brightspace, in the earlier session I covered these top menu items and I will probably go to my document and begin to sort of outline. So we have select a course, message alerts, subscription alerts, and update alerts. So I'll go into my document and actually create those course switcher message alerts uh, what was that message alerts subscription alerts and update alerts subscription alerts update alerts and then our profile doesn't have a hover on it, does it? That's weird. And the other one, admin tools. Profile, icon, name, and settings, gear. Which says admin tools. Admin tools. So I'll probably have to um, put these under their respective categories. So do that. And that was under messaging. And what was the icon? The message alerts and subscription alerts. So those are voice bubbles, bubble icon, subscription alerts, and update alerts was the bell icon. Don't remember if those are upper or lower case, they're upper. And then uh, and there's a little hover effect over there. And then that one was select the course dot, dot, dot. Course dot, dot, dot. And what we should call that is um, tick, tack, toe, grid, aka course switcher, select the course. Okay. And these notifications were under settings and also the portfolio stuff. So that had, when we clicked on it, we had these options. And under settings, Just going to copy the formatting from there into here. different.
So that pretty much summarizes the top menu. And I don't want these to be links. And under these, it says no items found, no items found, um, instant messages and email. And that is uh, envelope. Instant messages, email. And then no items found on all of those. All right, so that essentially highlights that. We'll go ahead and look at everything else. Um, underneath those, we had some subsettings. So remember for instant messages, we had all these options for adding friends and sending messages and looking people up. And there was even settings for those that was not a whole lot there. And then under email, we had the option of an email, pretty much what looked like a whole standalone email system that we could use. And under the others, there were really no settings. And then under the profile, we had just a little bit about us and um, I don't remember looking at account settings. So I'm already forgetting. Yeah, that's just nothing really substantial. And then under Portfolio category management, we had a few things and under video captions, nothing terribly useful at the moment. Maybe it'll find some utility later. So going back to the home home page, if you will, we'll just explore a little bit on the page itself. We have a block here called my courses. In my case, that's going to end up in a normal semester having six or seven items on it, which is going to be a little annoying because each box is fairly big. So they've created these categories called converted and sandboxes. So one presumes we have admin control over that and hopefully that would limit what's there. It's interesting that my name up here, Von Brees in lowercase, does not match my name here, but that's because they put in the name of the course, so that's something to play with. Then we have Brightspace Community. I can collapse this widget, okay? I cannot collapse that widget, which is sort of frustrating. Now I go into one of these, and I didn't want to be here, and I've lost my top menu, so that's sort of silly. I have to go, in order to go back to that page that had all of them, I can click all. But if I were to click on view all courses from this interface, it takes me to a totally different window, which is silly. And I suppose if you had hundreds of them, you would want all the real estate you could get. But I'm frustrated that I can collapse this one, this widget. I guess we're going to call these widgets. And I can collapse this one. What's also frustrating is it's a click drop down. At least I don't have to click hold, but still you'd think I would just be able to click it and unclick it, and I can't. I have to click it, move the mouse, click it again, and that is just poor design. But pretty easy once you understand what's going on. It just takes twice, three, three, three times as many steps as it ought to to collapse something. So in this case, we have the tool, we have an RSS feed if you were using that. I don't know a lot of people who do that. Notifications. So I'm not clear whether these announcements are for the class or for Brightspace or for the institution. So we'll need to figure that out. And then here's the collapse again. You'd think after all these years with a minimize button that that would just be there available. Um, let's look at all announcements. Maybe that'll give us a sense of it. 
So this seems to be, I feel like these are institutional announcements. Maybe these will eventually be for the whole school. Right now they're geared towards instructors who are just starting out, I think. And uh, we'll probably go look at these resources later when we get stuck. Now it says, tip this announcement coast can be marked as red by selecting dismiss. So I don't see dismiss, except then we go back to that old thing. There we go. So view. Now I'm viewing it now, so I'm not sure why there's a view. And dismiss means it removes it from here. And then the question is, if I do that, how do I reload it? If I look back here, I can look at a lot of them. But if I dismiss them, do they go away forever? So those are some questions. Um, we'll go ahead and look on the main page. Main page. And these are actually, should all be nested. Um, why can't course widget collapse? Why does all courses go to a new page. Um, what announcements are these? School. So we got here. So let's see, we'll go back to the home page. And under announcements, we have go to the tool RSS notifications and collapse this widget. So we've got all these widgets. Let's go ahead and talk about widgets. Courses widget. Um, announcements. to the announcement tool. Each item has um, view and dismiss from widget. Save time with quick eval. That's it. And twenty ten to one hundred per page. Set it to two hundred. Okay, we'll look at notifications. It also has a notifications option.
which goes to the same the same notifications item as under your name link at the top. Okay. Back to main page. What other widgets do we have? Looks pretty weak on widgets. We have Brightspace Community, which just has collapse this widget and a search and what is the community. What is the community? And in this case, we click it. Um, back and go to community. So let's see what happens if we hit back. Go to the community. Basically launches um, the website. Okay. Right, so this community widget. Done with that. So we're going to close that, go back, and then we have Brightspace footer. Right, so what else do we have that at that point? We can we'll collapse this, we'll collapse this widget, and the only other widget I see here is the calendar. 
and we have go to calendar So we'll go ahead and go to it. So here we're in the calendar tool, but we have what looks like the announcements, which makes me wonder if I go back and I go to the announcements tool, it also has the calendar. So we have this common menu that's hidden from the first page. shows shoot come on announcements calendar quick eval and help and that the help has a drop down of these four items And then the quick of each of these, come on, um, basically just links to their respective items. And we have settings under calendar. Bless me. Um, we have an agenda, day, week, month list. So we'll add that. Agenda, day, week, month, list. And date, course, and category. date, course, category, so those must be views. I'm not sure what, and then we have several calendars. You can filter by the college or the class. 
drop down. We select school or class to filter by. And I wonder if you can add one. File. We'll see. Can we add the academic calendar? Does it integrate with Google? That's calendar. So if we go to, we saw announcements before. Let's look at quick eval. Quick eval must be for grading. And uh, view by submissions and activities. could be last name comma first name or first name last name but to put the comma there just seems peculiar but I'm picky that way and so with that I'm pretty sure we've explored all that we can explore on the main page before going into a course now I suspect based on my fairly extensive experience with this stuff that there's a whole bunch of widgets that could be added to this that our people have decided we don't need to add to this and I guess that's okay but I'd rather have all the options and be able to disable them but maybe I can add widgets into my course this seems to be the front-facing view of the whole system to students while we're at it, we can say, well, let's see what this looks like to a student. I'm going to bet that it looks exactly the same because you know, there's not much sort of specific here. This is all pretty generic stuff. And so you probably get the course the student is in. And I'm not sure why they would need the bright case space community. Um, that goes back to we those three categories of people and students were not one of them so probably worth noting um, in the Brightspace community widget we probably need to maybe not appropriate pro appropriate for our students and there's not much else to see here. I'm puzzled that the footer seems to be gone now. Oh, because I'm in a sub page. No, because I'm as a student view. So I can see announcements, calendar and help as a student, but those were not visible to me when I went here as a teacher. Let's test that and go back. Okay, how do I go back and view as a learner? I click viewing as a learner. And now I'm back. And were these here all along? Maybe they're there all along and I just never noticed. So I'm going to go back to them there. 
And yeah, they were there all along, so I must be dumb. Sometimes I'm dumb. So main page, come menu. Um, below header options. So that's announcements, calendar, um, and I can take the announcement settings and I guess if we go to announcements, the drop down here is RSS notifications and collapses widget. RSS notifications collapses visit. So the announcements tool actually has I'm going to cut that and move it. Up to announcements. So they're kind of calling the tool a widget. Shouldn't that be tool? And we have go to announcements tool, RSS notifications. Go to announcement, RSS notifications, collapses widget. We'll move those questions up to the calendar. Okay. I think that's that for the main page. And uh, go back to all. Just double check everything here. I didn't notice this menu because it was camouflage. It was white on gray. And I will stop this one.